So finally, we are going to parameterize a curve C. We're going to parameterize the easiest one possible. First off, an explicit curve in 2D. Remember, a curve needs one parameter. And let's see, what is an explicit curve in 2D? It's just a real valued function of one variable and an interval. So this is an explicit curve in 2D. What's the rule to parameterize it? We simply let x equal t. That's the rule. What do we get with that? Well, in parametric form, we would have s of t equals, remember we need two functions, both of t, x is equal to t, and y equals f of t. So we're substituting t into f of x. And of course we need the interval, but x equals t, so our interval is just t from a to b. So uh, parameterizing this explicit curve gives us this. In vector parametric form, what does this look like? We would write it as s vector. There's the components, the x component is t, the y component is f of t, and here's our interval as always. So you say, okay, it looks like we're going around in circles. Kind of, but not really, and it helps us get started. So let's look at an example. So what's a decent example? Uh, let's try y equals x squared times sine of x, and here's our interval, x between minus one and two. You can see it's a real valued function in two dimensions, right, x and y, and we have an interval, so we've got a curve. Okay, so what do we write? We would write s of t, let's presume we're going to write it in pure parametric form, so it's two functions. So the first one is x equals t. And the second one is y equals, and then everywhere we had x, we're not going to write t. So t squared times sine of t. And then our interval, as we said, is the same as we got, so it's t in minus one, two. So here is our parametrization of this function. Let's see that this works. So here we are in GeoGebra, our program, free and open source software for everything 2D. And we're, first we're going to graph our explicit function, y equals x squared times sine x, in the interval minus one, two. That means we need the function command. So we come down here in the input bar and click and start typing the function command. And you can see that it gives us what function we want and a start and end value. So we click on it. Our function is x squared times sine of x. Tab over, minus one. Tab over two. Hit enter. So this is our curve we're looking at. We want to make sure that our parameterization is the same curve. Let's make this thick and red. There we go. And now let's get our parameterization. There it is. What's the command in GeoGebra? Curve. So click down in the input bar again. Start to type curve. And we're interested in this one, which gives us first expression will be our x of t, y of t. Our parameter variable will be t. Our start will be minus one, our end will be minus two. Click. So t, tab over, t squared times sine of t, tab over, parameter variable is t, the start value is minus one, the end value is two, and we wanna see our line covered up when we hit enter. And sure enough it is. And notice this isn't exactly the form that we wrote it in down here. So that's how to parameterize an explicit curve in 2D. You simply let x equal to t and substitute t into your y and take the x interval as your t interval.